Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We are hanging out in the garden today and today we're going to talk about cucamelons. All right, I love growing the weird stuff. I like growing something that's a little bit outside the box, the type of thing that you're not gonna see at the grocery store. I mean, this year we're growing a ton of purple vegetables that we don't normally see at the grocery store. Um, we've also grown a Desi squash, which is an Indian squash, like a yellow squash, but round. And this year we're also growing cucumelon. And to be truthful, it's not the first time I've grown cuc cucamelons, a little hard to say. Um, we've grown them quite a few times. They're a lot of fun to grow. But first off, let's take a look and find out what is a cucamelon, or sometimes called sour gherkins or um, tiny mini melons. They are not at all like a melon, but that's sometimes what they are called. So let's take a look. So this is a cucamelon. These beautiful things are not melony at all like I said they are more like a cucumber and if anything I would say they are a limey cucumber they are a tasty little burst of cucumber and they grow really prolifically like they are not hard to grow whatsoever we are growing them in a 8b climate in Mississippi this is June so you can see that they seem to be doing well they are definitely climbers and we'd highly recommend having a very strong climbing apparatus like I've got this step back here I don't have the best climber in this like this should have been growing up a fence um, but if you'd have a better thing for it to climb on it would actually produce probably a heck of a lot more cucamelons now growing them from seed is incredibly easy I grow them from seed and I transplant them uh, I got my seed from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're super easy to grow by seed. I'll grow them in a, a pot and then I'll transplant them into the container that I'm going to be growing them in. Uh, a lot of places will actually tell you not to transplant. They're better just seeded where you're gonna grow them. I don't find that. It's very, very easy to transplant them. They are a plant that likes moisture. They don't want to be soggy, but they want to be kept moist. So I do find that I try, especially in the south, especially in the containers that I use, that I water these guys quite a bit. And like any cucumber, the watering does, determines how full your uh, melons tend to get. Now, what the heck can you do with your melon? Well, other than eat them, because they're definitely very good and very snackable. They are super great as a salad topping. I like to sell them at the farmer's market in with the tomatoes in a cherry baskets because they always cause conversations. People will pick them up and they'll be like, what, what is this? So they're really fun at a farmer's market if you like to draw attention to your baskets. Um, you can also pickle them. I've never pickled them, but you could certainly do that. It would take quite a few to fill a jar, but again, they're pretty prolific. So if you get them growing, in a, so if you have a good way for them to climb, you'll have lots of them, so you'll need a way to pack them up. And so that would be a fun way. And with a little bit of lime flavor, I would imagine they'd be very good pickled. Some people talk about adding them to stir fries. I've never added a cucumber to a stir fry, but perhaps that's something, another way to use them as well. The cucamelon is not at all frost tolerant, so you really want to make sure that you are growing this after you've passed any chance or risk of frost and before any frost comes in again in your fall season. They, uh, they're like, to me, sweet potatoes. They're some of the first ones to be, to be gone in a frost. Cucamelons are also a super fun one to grow with kids. Kids love picking the little melons off of them. Uh, I get lots of comments from people who have gotten a cucumelon plant for me, taken it home, planted it for their grandkids or their kids, and they've had so much fun growing them. So it's another great way to get your kids involved in the garden because you can come out every day and find a few snackable items. They are pretty good feeders. You do want to make sure that you get them uh, a fair bit of nutrients. I've been giving them the Agro Thrive and it seems to be working just fine for them. Also, they're in a compo uh, composted soil, so really rich soil. So they've been doing quite well in that, but they are big feeders. They're like any cucumber. They'll need uh, regular feeding. And you can see here, there's a couple that I've started in another container that I'm hoping will take off a bit better and run up the side here so when they're small they take kind of slow to take off but then once they start going they just 
go crazy. So a super fun one for your garden. If you haven't tried growing cucumelons, I highly recommend trying them out. Get them going in your garden and have fun with them. All right guys, that's it. Be friendly, be kind.